Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm going to do another rolling breakdown. This is a class during our combat jiu-jitsu week, so we're not slapping each other during this one, but you know, I'm just rolling with Cody here. I'll point out some things that I see. Hopefully you can learn some stuff. All right. Looking at grip fight here. Cody's doing a good job of trying to leg drag me here. What I'm looking to do is just not let him pass my guard for a second. Looking to let him work, see what he's doing here. Oh man, look at that sweep. Watch this guys. He does a good job about leg dragging me across here. My retention for this, when someone drags this leg, if they don't get my hips turned enough, I can bring my other leg over the top, put my foot on the hip, push him away and get my guard back just like this but look right here another good way is I bring my knee underneath here and if I bring turn my knee to the right side it's a little easy sweep here it's not a hundred percent secure but if I can get him to fall now I can grab his legs and help prevent him from getting up on top here and I'm trying to throw my leg in for a, a honey hole here but Cody saw it coming so he's blocking it there you're at okay so I just get the sweep out of it if you watch that I just kind of stand in base while I'm holding his ankle he can't get up but it allows me to get up so a little tip for you now I gotta pass this guy's guard this guy's got a slick guard it's getting better man I know he's gonna give me some trouble so I decide to put my head right there oh man tripoding guys look at this tripoding posture one thing I see when we're tripoding sometimes is some of you guys are doing the, have the idea, but your butt is more flat. Like your back's more flat here and your butt doesn't go up high enough. I want to get a nice high butt here. All my weight driving straight down into the gut. It immobilizes them, makes it hard to move because I'm pinning his hips to the floor. Notice I got grips here. I got grips on the other side. So I'm looking to just slow Cody down, control his hips a little bit. Once you guys get someone's hips turned just a little bit, little bit, little bit, you can hop and pass right across right there. So now I'm putting the pressure on him. I'm trying to leg drag him here, put him in a leg drag position, make him tired for a second. I want him to push on me here. The more he pushes, the more I know he's working. And now, man, he was doing a good job framing, but look what I'm trying to do here. I threw my arm over. I'm looking to isolate Cody's arm here. If I can get my hand underneath right there, now it's starting to get isolated. I'm pinning it down with my shoulder here. Notice I'm putting my weight on it. It's hard. He's trying to protect his arm. He's doing the right thing at this point. But once I'm this deep, guys, I can turn you over and put the Kimura grip on. It's a really powerful armbar setup. If you guys are ever looking for a way to set up the armbar, that's one of my favorite ways. You know what I do there? Okay, so what you can't see here is my right foot is under Cody's armpit over here. He's doing a good job about defending this. So as a distraction, I keep this. I act like I really want it. And I dug my foot under his armpit. I'm going to fall to my side here, extend this leg. And now I got a triangle here. It looks like an inverted triangle. Um, the key here, guys, is I need to get this knee all the way back around towards his armpit. I want to kick this leg through. So right now I have him trapped. I need to pull his elbow towards me. So as I do that, now I kick my leg deep. Now look at my knee. It's behind under his armpit. That's where it's going to get tight. So now I'm just working his arm as I squeeze my knees. Let's tap. All right, what's Cody got for me now? Oh, God. He's on my back. He's trying to put me in something I don't even know. Man. Guys, I was just staying tight here. That's all I'm doing. Staying tight, scooting my hips out, trying to get my back on the floor. And I'm out. I'm trying to pass the guard. He's doing a great job. That foot right there saved him from me passing around the side. So that foot's blocking me. He did a good job about getting his guard back right there. Now, 
I'm looking for the over under pass. Another pressure pass. I know you guys hate me. Look at this. Under the leg and I'm over the leg. I put his leg in between my knees. I'm going to stretch his leg out and then walk his hips this direction and then back step over that side. Stretch that leg out right here. Now I got the double, the over under grip and I can back step. Boom. Stay heavy here. I've got to climb up the body. Controlling the hips. Oh, man. Cody's doing a good job about turning, but that's the counter to that. When they turn, collect their legs, step over. Now, climbing up the mount. Cody's playing some defense here. Okay, so I turn. So, what happened there is Cody turned. I have to go to S mount. If I don't, he's trying to hook my foot here. So I try to bring my foot in next to the hip. I'm trying to go to S mount, but he gets his knee in. That was my my fatal mistake right there. He, I could have kept the mount if I would not have let him get his knee in right there, but he did a good job about shrimping, posting, sliding his knee in. Now I've lost it. If I don't react now, guys, he'll get his half guard back or, or even full guard. So my counter to that. Just to back step around to side control, just to keep dominant position. Once you lose something, just go to the next position. It's not the big, biggest deal in the world. Now I'm looking to, oh no, oh no, oh, oh no. Watch that again. So he starts to turn. I was looking for his arm again. I want this arm. Cody's hiding it. He's got a nice deep underhook here. Or he's keeping it under my body. As he turns, though, his back's exposed. I could spin to the back, but what I decided to look for, since I've been practicing my front headlock lately, I'm looking for this Darce choke. I got my front headlock right here. Now I'm shooting my arm under. Boom. Now I'm going, I'm pinching my elbows here, collapsing his head. Very important when you go for the Darce. I grab the back of the neck, lock a gable grip here. I'm going to fold his head down. And now I'm just, boom, I'm looking for that moment right there. Once I can keep his head down long enough to shoot my hand up, connect my elbow, grab the rear naked choke grip. And here's another huge detail from the Danaher thing. Watch this, guys. My hands are in a good spot right now. But what I need is them a little deeper. I'm going to pull my hands through as best I can and try to put my hands right here on the spine. I don't get a great pull on this one, but you can see what I'm trying to do here right there I'm trying to pull my own hand through put it on his spine because I want my right arm to be really deep here and now once I get there boom now it's deep the key here I got a really deep wrist here I used to I used to teach a little shallow more of a shallow grip here but man Danaher really pointed out something to me the deeper you get this the better it is going to be the tighter it's going to be and watch how I finish Guys, whenever I finish here now, we want to start rotating our arms. I used to always talk about bringing the elbow up, right, to fill the gap. But if you get your arm deep enough, make this tight enough, it's just a rotational twist and a squeeze. Watch this. And it's over. Man, it's so tight. I'm going to have to teach you guys that soon. Cody's had enough of this crap. He's like, I'm not doing this again. So he drags me takes my back he leg dragged me oh god now he's putting his hooks in what i would have suggested to cody um is to not put this hook in first you want to put your near side hook in first because now if i fall to my left side here all he has is a top hook he doesn't actually have my back if he had the near hook and i fell there he'd already have my back so right there, see that's the problem, right there. As I've fallen, he doesn't actually have control of my lower hip, which is going to allow me to just scoot my hips out here. Although he's got a joke, so I better be careful. These guys are going to kick us in the head. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Guys, I'm in trouble. You got to watch out. Oh, God. Okay, now Cody's got this back control. Oh, God. Look at, look at my face. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing a good job about the back retention drill. He's getting his knee in, trying to throw his leg over. I'm like, no. Uh, 
that's a good idea. Hey, little tip there. You're coming out, guys. You don't always have to try to come to the top. I'm going to pull guard again. I'm pulling half guard. Boom. Just to get into a sweeping position. Cody's trying to pay me back with a Dars. I use it to sweep. Now, I'll pass again. Watch that, guys. I got his knees turned here. When I got the knees turned this way, heavy hip pressure, back step over the knee. I'm trying to put my knee behind his knee, which gives me the pass. Now I'm holding the hips, climb up the body, control the hips. Notice I just hold the hips, guys. I'm not really worried about the upper body. More controlling the hips here. Cody's turning, which is good for him. I don't want this to happen. He's getting his knee back in. Great job. But now I'm looking to pass, looking to use my my knee here to guide his hips the other direction. Okay, now I'm looking to pin his hips with my elbow. I'm trying to always constantly, guys, looking to turn the hips. Let's rewind a little bit. Trying to turn the hips, keep them turned, and that's always going to give me a pass over the top here or around the back, which I knee slide, pin his legs down, I slide through right there. Watch that. If I can get his knees turned right there, freeze. Elbows pinning it down. I'm going to replace it with my knee. And now his legs are, he's, he has no guard. Boom. Now it's just about staying heavy here. Oh. Get back in view, guys. Come on. What's going on? Oh, well, that was just rude. Cody turns. He exposes his back a little bit more, so I sit underneath it. Pull him on top of me. Boom, I didn't get my hook, though, because I'm... Oh, there it is. I'm trying to control Cody's wrist here. His hand, actually. That's his primary defense hand, guys. And I'm looking to sink this choke in. He's not letting me, though. He doesn't want me to do that. I'm looking to trap his arm here. I don't know what happened. Well, that was time. Cody, nice job, bro. That was awesome. Good roll. Getting better every day. Hope you guys learned something from that, man. Uh, keep doing these. Check out for more.